This is a Nexus Special, Episode 8, Did You Get That Deal? on Saturday, July 7th, 2012. And now, with Just a Human. This show was hosted by Ryan Rampersad and with special guest Chris Rampersad. So what do you know? I know nothing. Why not? Well, I need to ask me questions. Hi. Big week? Big. big Why? Big week. It was a holiday week. Yeah? What'd you do on your holiday week? Oh, gee. Today is what day is I have to think back. I know. It's very complicated for me, too. Well, it was in the middle of the week. It was in the middle of the week. Yeah? What was it? Fourth of July. Yeah? What'd you do? I had people over. That's a good start. Made sloppy jokes. And then they left. Well, they left, yes, really quickly. We ate, and then they left. It's not really the all-American food, but, you know, you know. It's close enough. I thought so. It's red meat. Yeah, it was good. It was in the crock pot. But even better was we didn't have to stand outside in 100 degrees and grill. Oh, really? And what what, uh, made that possible? Because I wasn't going outside. No, but what what prevented you from going outside? It was 100 degrees. And what allowed you to stay inside? Oh, the air conditioning. Right. Yes. That's good. That's pretty... you came over and helped. Yeah, it's pretty stuff. pretty handy to have a, a working air conditioner. It, it was a necessity. Yeah. Next time, I'm going to have my air installed in uh, May. That way I'll know if it works or not before well, I th- I it's think 100 next, I think next time you should get uh, some air installed throughout the building. Oh, central air. Yeah, that would probably be your next wise purchase. That would be an awesome purchase. I mean, you know, global warming coming up. I hear that's a recurring theme. Global warming? Yeah. If you had central air, I think you could go from one room to another and feel coolness. Isn't that a weird concept? It is, and there's nothing in your window. It's just cool. So we were discussing on where to put the central air cooling unit. Oh. So... According to the layout of the house, we have one. We, we, we thought it'd have to be on the cool side, so it'd have to be here. Now, wall that would be obnoxious for the neighbors. I don't really care. But what we, we thought is it would either be, it'd probably be closer to my window on the other side of my window. Oh, my window well. That would work if it would fit there. It should fit there. It doesn't need too much opening, and you just need to move some hostas. It could, could go between <clears throat> the two windows. It could, but I want it further away from the studio window. Oh. <laughs> Just in case, because I don't want the noise here. You could make some noise. Yeah. Well, unless you want to get me a $350 mic. Uh, no, because I'm going to get central air. Which is, you know, 7000 <laughs> yeah. give or take a couple. <laughs> well, at the same time, I might need a new furnace. Well, that's, that's 7000 They're together. The central air and the furnace? I think so. You get a deal if you get both. I think it's together. We didn't get the deal the first We should have gotten the deal. I, I didn't so. have the... I didn't get the deal. You should have got the deal. Should get the deal. Yeah, you anytime get the deal. you can get the deal, you should get the deal. You should get the deal. I'm gonna get the deal. I hope you get the deal. Did I you know. Did you see the deal I sent you the other day? That email? Did you get that email? It was. It had a deal in it. Remind me. Well, it was this. Uh, you get uh, three dollars in MP3 credits on oh, Amazon. Oh, I have that. Did you get it? I didn't use it. Why not? I have the deal, but well, go get it. You, you get me? three bucks in MP3 credits. You can get three songs on the Amazon. Good deal. I would have to decide what to get. Just get the top three. I mean, that's what I did. Why didn't you do that? I did. Mm-hmm. I, I got the deal. My father got the deal. Now it's your turn to get the deal. Does anybody hear a lot of sirens going on? We live in Midway. We live in Midway. <laughs> <laughs> no, not not between the two cities, but between states of living. Yeah, they're gone now. I don't hear, hear it anymore. Maybe it was just imagination. Could be. Okay. I didn't get the deal. Why didn't you get the deal? Well, I would have to decide. Don't just get the credits and then you can decide after you get the credit. I didn't know what to do with it. It explained precisely what to do. When am I going to listen to that? Doesn't matter. That's not the point. The point is, since you have the opportunity, take the opportunity and just enable yourself in the future to have the opportunity again. Why did you give me the opportunity? (laughs) Don't do that. (laughs) It's called bettering your life. <gasps> you could have just used them yourself. I did. Well, then why are you passing more opportunity my way? That's what people do. <laughs> well, don't do that. That doesn't make sense. <gasps> well, what am I going to do with it? You could get a song you like. And do what with it? And then I'd have to go to the device and listen to the song. I can just... It's on your computer. 
I know, but I can just listen to KS95 anytime. That's horrible. That's not... That has ads in it. Well, of course it does. They talk a lot in the morning. I hate that. I just listen to them. You can go to their page and you can click on Listen Now, and I do that. I never think of playing music. Well, I don't either, but I mean, if I like a song a lot... I'd like that group to make more songs that I can hear in the ra- on the radio in the future. Well, so do I. Well, so then what you should do is you should buy like their music. Train. I would buy Train. Well, go train. ahead. Well, go, Drive by. Go get that your... would be one of the songs. Maybe that's the go, top three. Go, go, go get your credit from Amazon. It mm-hmm. still might be active. And then go get it. I, I think it expires on the 12th. So you got mm-hmm. you got a few days left. Mm-hmm. I better hurry up because yes. I need the deal. You need the deal. Go get the deal. Okay. Good. Now that we have that settled. That's settled. Yeah. I'm going to get the deal. Good. Go. Right now. Oh, no. I wouldn't do it now. <laughs> no. Why not? You have a computer. <laughs> no. I do have one, but I wouldn't get it now. Why not? Well, I don't know. Th- there's no reason to s- not go right now. I was thinking you sent that on my phone, and my phone is busy, but really it's in my email. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When I got the deal, mm-hmm. I was on my phone. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy insane. No. Because I get all that on my phone, too, but I never do anything with it. I just look at it, and then I think I'll look at it later. Why Why is your phone so decrepit? It's a BlackBerry. Well, that shouldn't mean anything. It does. I've had it for two years, and it's just so you can look at it and then know you're going to come back to some of it later. But you never come back to it, ever. No, because it doesn't matter by then. Well, that's not a very efficient... No, I, I don't... I'm not... <laughs> Not efficient with the phone. It doesn't do anything. It's just so you can get a few calls, and you can send a few messages, and you can see a few things. It's, I think you need to reach a new level of efficiency it's here. It's just for a few things. No, it should be for Don't more Don't strive things. for more. It's well, just for a few. I, th- I think that's a very bad thing to look for. Uh, yeah, I didn't know your phone could do all of that. See, I don't have that, so well, I don't know. Well, apparently, it can't call you. It'll call somebody else with the name Chris. That's great. Yeah, I heard you talking an awful was, lot to your to make, phone. I was trying to open Twitter. Open Twitter. It wouldn't do it. And let's try it right now. Watch it not do it. It'll do it now, despite you. Open Twitter. Did it work? Nope. It says go to twitter.com. I don't want twitter.com. I want, I, want the, I want the app, Twitter. It's on the desktop. It should open it. How does it know the difference? Well, it should notice that there's an app for Twitter before it notices that there's a website for Twitter. Oh. Well, what else can it do? Well, this phone can... It, theoretically, it can send a text message. However, the problem with sending a text message is that if it has a name that's been... You know, there's multiple contacts, it'll hear the first name, and then if it doesn't understand that there's a last name coming after it, it'll just use the first person with the first name. So it'll find the first Chris on your list. Yeah. See, so you're Chris Rampersad. Also, my friend Chris Drews takes priority because it doesn't understand to listen for Rampersad after. Oh, that's yeah. not... Very good. No. Unless you're Chris Drews and you're going to get all the messages. Bulk bag. Well, see, it gets bulk bag. There's only one bulk bag? Yeah. There's only one B. Right. Well, maybe I should. Navigate to Central High School. Yeah, I got that. So I can open the net, uh, the GPS app and go to Central. Oh, it really did. <laughs> I didn't cancel fast enough. So it does work. It just doesn't call me. No. Or text me. No. Or open Twitter. But, I mean... I don't, I don't care anyway, because if I wanted to text you, what I would do is I would just turn to oh, my computer, yeah. and I would open my new favorite app, mm-hmm. which is called uh, Mighty Text. So then here I am at my computer, it loads, and so then, let's see, where are you? I didn't see you go to this Mighty Text. It's right there. No, but where was it? Oh, well, so there's a little button up here. It, it's integrated into Chrome. Oh. So I, so I click on the button, mm-hmm. Mighty Text opens, it's mm-hmm. right here, so then, hi, big leak. So then I hit send. It says the request has been sent to Mighty Text, so it's sending to you, and you'll get a message shortly. So what it's doing is it's taking this from my computer, going to their servers, then their servers are going through Wi-Fi to my phone, and then through my phone, it gets a notice to send a text to you, and then you get the text. That seems like an awful lot of middle people. Well, it is. I do agree. It should have just been powered all by Google. I didn't get it yet. Well, it takes a second. You know, we're in the basement. Oh. Service is bad down here. Probably won't get it then. Oh, you'll get it. It'll just take a minute or two. Okay. But uh, it's a really great service because I, I, I very rarely want to type long extended messages on my phone. So this allows me to do that. I agree. Yeah. 
That makes it easy. Right. But you can just talk to your phone and it'll type. I can, but I find that it's faster for me for, for me to type and it's more accurate if I just type it. Compared to talking. I mean, in general, it is pretty accurate. You but can say bulk bag to it and it might type to me. No, it will type bulk bag. It's pretty good with that. Um, so let's see. I can type. I can talk to my phone, too. Hi, phone. Send a message to Ryan. Beep. Does not compute. <laughs> <laughs> and nothing happens, just like yours. Okay, here. So what would you like me to say to my phone for you to send a message to you? Bulk bag. Well, well more of a sentence. Oh, say... Uh, how about hello, how's the weather? Yeah, hello, how's the weather? Hello, how's the weather over there in St. Paul? Yeah. Question mark. Hello, how's the weather over there in St. Paul? Yeah, I actually typed that. Yeah. So uh, it's pretty good. Um, mine didn't do anything. Imagine that. Uh, so in general, it works, but my app didn't understand me when I was talking. I don't know why. Because I don't have any apps. Oh right. Well, so one of the new things in um, Android four point one is you can just talk to your phone. You don't even have to click a button. You can just say Google. Oh, and it's gonna know. It knows that you're talking to it. So. I have um, the little Twitter bird. Oh my! Is it the new Twitter bird? No, um, I don't think so. Nope, that's old Twitter bird. Um. Mostly because I haven't gone to Twitter. I haven't gone to Twitter in a while. Why not? Well, I'd have to remember my password. Why? You should be using LastPass. I know. And then every time it wants to upgrade the apps that I do have. Yeah. Oh, it has to restart, right? Well, it has to restart, but to do that, I need to have the password for BlackBerry Messenger. Oh, you don't know what that is? I don't remember what that is either. Well, obviously, it's the same password used everywhere else. I don't remember any passwords. I have a solution just for you. <laughs> do you? I do. <laughs> this program is not brought to you by <laughs> LastPass. <laughs> Are they the sponsor? No, we don't have sponsors. You should. You should have. Like, do you know how many views we would need to have sponsorship? 50,000. Oh. What are you up to now? Forty nine nine ninety nine. In the last 90 period, there's been 230 views. Oh. Well, actually downloads. Mm-hmm. I like that downloading thing. That way you can listen to this fascinating program anytime you want. Well, that's what I do. Unlike some other radio programs no, that are on at certain times of the day. That's absurd. Where you have to be available at 1 p.m. Well, that was the whole DVR resolution, or revolution. You know, you just, uh, instead of having TV be on at a certain time, which is fine, it could be then, and then you would just be recorded, and you could watch it when you had time. That's, I like that. That was great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What if we actually, before that, we actually had to watch it at the time it was shown? Well, I mean, you could have done that before. You could have uh, used a VCR and used a tape. What if before that? There wasn't TV, really. What if you just had to watch your favorite program or listen to it at that time? Well, and before then, too, there was significantly less television. Right. So it potentially could have been easier to keep up. Well, that's assuming you weren't busy. No, you're not. You were busy. Nobody was busy. Nobody was busy. No. They had pets. It was the 80s. They had a dog then. They were busy. The dog were, would just sit there on the very, couch. very, very busy. Well, people on farms don't take their dogs out. It's no, like, they don't. They just open the door. Right. Mm-hmm. They probably just go through the door. There probably even isn't a door. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably true. <laughs> a dog could just go in and out. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So what do you know? It's a big week. Yeah? It's 4th of July. Mm-hmm. It was really, 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 really hot. Yeah. And I'm so glad that's gone. Yeah, I can have the window open now and it stays a relatively cool 78 in here. I had sheets up to keep the cool air conditioning in the living area. Well, one of the cool things in the future that we're going to do here in the studio is that if we keep this room, we're going to take that computer right down there that and, one. and put it on that side of the room because mm-hmm. that'll reduce heat levels. Oh, on the other side of this wall here. Yeah. Because you're pointing. It's like, I didn't think moving it three feet would make a difference. No. Four feet would, because it'd be on the other side of that right. wall. Right, and you can see the hole back there yeah. that we'd run the cables back through. Mm. Yeah. That would be clever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We didn't get there yet, but we will. Was that when you take the closet out of this room? Well, see, I thought of that. And, and the problem with doing that is that uh, I, I redid the shrine over there a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, but the problem with redoing the closet right now is that I'd have to move this stuff in the closet. Mm-hmm. And um, that isn't the easiest thing to do. Why? You just put it in a bin. <clears throat> well, see, I'd have to have bins, first mm-hmm. of all, and we mm-hmm. don't have those. And second of all, I'd have to put the bins somewhere. Upstairs. 
well, now see, that sounds good, but without being handed to, it's relatively impossible. I might be able to help. Okay, well, we'll see then. Mm -hmm. And I really just don't want to do it. Hmm. But beside that, I'd have to also not do the show for a week or two. Oh, oh. Which is okay. I mean, I can do it somewhere else. Mm Mm-hmm. You could be, like, on the road. Well, we don't have a setup for that right now. That'd be awesome. I don't know about that. (laughs) On the road where? Like, at the lake? The farm. (laughs) <laughs> that would be terrible. With the dog going through the door. At the lake, at the farm, at the park, on the road with Ryan Rampersad. Doesn't sound like fun. Sounds kind of cool. You know, like uh, Wheel of Fortune, they're in Hawaii. They say they're in Hawaii, but I don't think they actually are. Do you think that's virtual behind them? They're yeah, showing pretty, pretty sure. some uh, ocean, lake water. Yeah, it's a TV screen. I was really thinking they're there. You know why? Because they're wearing those uh, Hawaiian shirts. Man, you're and, fooled at two years And old. there's a pineapple on the counter. I don't think so. I think Leo's in Hawaii, too, because didn't he have a pineapple? That was months ago. Well, that's why. He's trying to make you think he was in Hawaii. No, but he was in the studio. Oh. You could make your studio look like Hawaii. I don't want to. What do you want it to look like? I want it to look like a studio. Oh. Hmm. Okay. I like that over there. That's fun. The shrine. Yeah. Cleaned it up, huh? Yeah. I well, what I need to do is um when we get when we get stuff in like packages and packages and stuff, I need to take the foam blocks out of there and use it to raise the stuff in the back up so I can have more newer newer stuff out in the front because like you can see the MacBook Air box and then the iPad box on top. Mm-hmm. But I have other boxes I could do that with, but I don't have anything to put them on right now. So, so you need foam. I need some foam foam blocks. Okay. I see you have that metal thing. Hey, isn't that great? I love that thing. Sure. It's cool. Copper metal thing. Yeah. It's almost like a bracelet. Yeah, that would probably weigh like a ton. Maybe it's like a new way to work out. And also, like, get zapped. And then if you, yeah. Going if you through a metal forget, detector. you could hit yourself in the head. <laughs> that would happen to you. Sure. That's if I could lift my arm. <laughs> to hit myself in the head. Yeah, okay. that, would, that would be good. Mm-hmm. So, what do you want to talk about? What are our choices? Well, we, I believe we had two things on the agenda today. We have backup solutions and we have social media something or other. But I don't remember which one was first. Well, either one could be first. I've yeah. been scanning my pictures all, you know, for the last two days. Yeah? How's that been going? I love it. Do you know what product you use for that? I knew you were going <laughs> to... I knew you were going to ask me that. Good I man. love the product, but I forgot its name. See, how, I see, see <laughs> that means there's a fundamental disconnect between you and the product. No, that's just, I don't need to know that. I just need it to work, and I need it to be easy. Well, I don't think it's working well enough. Like, its marketing department hasn't done its job. I don't think its name is, like, in big letters. Well, it should be. In a big font or in a... Sam what it should Sir do is it's, font. It should print its name on every picture you yeah, scan. Yeah, it probably should. And if it could put the date on it, if I could put the date I want on it, that'd be nice. Well, that'd be, that'd be tough. Well, you can do that in software. I like that I can just scan it because I can just do a four by six and just keep right on scanning. I don't. Well, you should to, explain how it works. You just take the pictures and you just. So you take one picture, you put it into the feeder. Yes. It scans it, but it doesn't go to your computer. That's right. Where does it go? It goes to the card. It goes to a memory card. Memory card, yes. It's a good one. A good memory card. So I can have a lot of them on there. So an 8, eight gigabyte card, I believe? Right, yes. Yeah, an 8 gigabyte memory card. And then, then what does that do? Well, then I can scan as many as I want, and then I can take the card and put it in a card reader. and Put it on your computer. Put it on the computer. Right. And you can copy them. Yeah. To different folders. And then what do you do? Well, do you edit them or anything? I could. I could delete them you, off the card. Do you upload card. them to any services? Mm-hmm. I do make photo books. You know, different topics. So I can scan pictures of trips and all the old ones. These are all the old ones. The, these aren't the new ones. So and then I can, you know, have uh, a nice photo book of our trip to South Dakota, the Black Hills. With those buffalo. Yeah. Speaking of buffalo, Where it's not you? in here right now. Uh-oh. Where's your buffalo? It's in the desk. Hmm. I don't have them in here because this room's too small. <laughs> For the buffalo. Well, the well when we when we get small. rid of this... Uh, closet. When we get rid of the closet, maybe we can have a, not only a shrine, but a stuffed animal shack. 
Room for the buffalo. Right, and the, and the two ponies. Where the buffalo roam. Over there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so the scanning is going well. So the scanning is going great, but but so you you're telling me how you had two folders. Yeah, I and and then you had a secondary fo- another folder all with scanned. with all of the scans, and mm-hmm. that was your clever well, solution to make sa- duplicates. That's and right. Keep things safe. Safe, yeah, on the same drive. On yeah. the same drive. Yeah, I knew where you were going with that. So you do have a backup solution. Kind of that I set up for you, even though I, I make fun of you because you don't even realize that it's going on. I don't know. But but every, approximately every uh, night, uh, your computer checks to see if anything has changed or been added to your picture folder on your drive, and then it duplicates those over to another drive. Just a picture folder. Yeah, just a picture folder. Photo folder. Just the photo folder. What about in the Chris folder? Nothing. Uh oh. <laughs> That's where they all. You don't scan. pay me enough for that. That's where they all scan folder is. Well, that shouldn't be there. Everything should be in photos. In photos are the photos I scanned. Well, good. Keep moving them. Yeah, but then I have the other photos, the all scan photos under Chris. This is too complicated. You should move that. Well, so I, I have to ask you, what's your backup solution? That was the backup solution, putting them in another folder. But 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 what if that drive just totally dies? Well, then they're gone, really. So what what's your backup solution? Well, I'm waiting for you to tell me what it is. What do you think it is? Another drive. Well, that would be good, but you already have another drive. So, like every night, your folder is backed up to another folder on another drive. That sounds complicated. How is that complicated? That's it's like a Control C and a Control V that you don't have to do personally. I like that. I don't right. want to do anything. I want to do less. Exactly. Right. So, but then the question is, what if the whole computer dies? Yes, and it could happen. Boy, your computer is going to die. I guarantee it. Right. Yeah. You make fun of that computer all the time. Well, it's a terrible thing. Mm-hmm. It's ancient. So what should I do? Well, you should go find a service you really, really like, mm-hmm. and you should upload your favorite pictures that you can't possibly part with. Oh, well, I am making photo books. No, or, it's I, not. Or just albums. You know, I uh, do. Where? Walgreens. Nope, not good enough. Walmart. You, when, when you, you Shutterfly. Need, you need a long-lasting service. My publisher. None of those are real. You Kodak. Need to, you need to pick photos. Like a Picasso, like a Google Plus, a oh. Facebook. Um, I have some on Facebook. But you need to put many. Like tons, huge numbers. I haven't done that. What you, what you what you need to do is you need to inundate those services with your photos, because the when you well, you have to realize when you upload a photo on Facebook or Google or wherever, they don't just have one copy. They have to make like twenty copies over multiple data servers mm-hmm. in order to you know provide redundancy and backups and stuff. Mm-hmm. So once you put pretty much put it on one of those services, it's never going anywhere. Like Kodak photos? No, that that's probably going to go somewhere. Oh. No, I, that'll get shut down. Kodak's going out of business any day now. AOL, my photos? Oh, that's, that's Remember over. that? Yeah, it's gone. We used to have photos there. I do remember that. And then they gave us the warning, your photos will be irreplaceably lost. Mm-hmm. You will never see them again, so you should copy them immediately and save them. This is what you look like when you talk. Um, that looks good. Yeah. I look better there than I do in person. <laughs> Yeah, you look like you're talking. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Mm-hmm. Well, it looks familiar. Like you had a picture of that on Facebook. Oh yes, yes, that is my uh, banner your, picture. Your signature. No, it's well, the it's the cover picture. Right. Yeah. But uh, that was you saying your name, like Ryan. No, that was Ryan. And then no, actually, that was um. Ryan. See, it should say this. It should look the same every time you say it. It doesn't. No, it means nothing. I never did get your message. I forgot what you said now, but I didn't get it yet. Because we're in the basement. Well, your I phone's, don't think your um your phone sucks. Your media three way relay to Timbuktu and back again didn't get to me. Well, it's because you're in the basement. Yeah, because we tried that when well, I was actually, at the, not in the basement. One of the things I wanted to look up, which which I've been wanting to look up for three days, but every time I bring it up, I forget immediately because I look up something else. But how much a Sprint like service booster? A service booster? Oh, because you're in the basement. Yeah, I was wondering how much it would cost. Uh, it's going to cost too much. Well, I mean, if it was 150 bucks, you know, it wouldn't be terrible. We need an antenna. What do you need an antenna for? Um, my TV that only gets two channels. Why does it only get two channels? Because I don't have a uh, satellite anymore. And I have a an antenna that is inside the house, but it's perched precariously on stacks of books and a toaster. Okay, the toaster's in a box, but... So what if you 
I'm trying to make it higher. So the higher that antenna is and it can be closer to the window, it can pick up two and a half channels. So what if you put an antenna outside? Well, that might work. But then do I have to have the window open? Well, not necessarily. The door open? Not necessarily. You drill a hole. Drill a hole in the house. Well, I think that's the first one. (laughs) (laughs) That's right. The mice come in. Yeah. Through the door. Through the door. Well, that's just because the door's open. Right. Well... I what I what I what I would suggest is trying a bamboo leaf. A bamboo leaf. Well, it's actually called a mohu leaf, but I like, I prefer the name bamboo leaf. And did you find your sprint service? No, I don't have that. Oh, no booster for you. Mohu lu. No, so. there's no lu. I mean, you're just making up words now. <gasps> it sounds Hawaiian. But that's see? what it looks like. Okay. Kind of, except the one I want is black. Oh, that's cool. Mohu balance. Well, that's because you can have any color as long as it's black. Right. Well. Um, but it's it's a really nice product. It uh, works relatively well according to the Amazon reviews, which is the only thing I put any credit in. So if I had this bamboo leaf... Well, it's really called a mohu leaf. Mohu leaf. Mohu. I don't Mo- know. Mohu. Okay. There it is. <laughs> well, if I had that, it would amp and... Well, this is the unamplified version, oh. but uh, I what I suggest to notice, you though, is it's, it's, mega... it's 4.3 stars out of 5, mm-hmm. but with 1,200... 22 reviews. So let's go inside or outside? This is an inside antennae. Antennae. Yeah. You just wanted to say antennae. I did, yes. Antennae. Uh Uh-huh. You got it. (laughs) It's great. It does have a good sound to it. Uh Mm Uh-huh. You could could, uh, rig up an external, but you'd have to do more work for that. Okay. How come you didn't Google that with your own computer? Oh, because I was watching you Google it. Yes, but see, the reason... The guests and co-hosts are supplied with laptops and other sort of devices, is so that they can be productive while here. Muhu leaf. Yeah, I'll put this in the show notes, of course. Go muhu. Yep. Oh yeah. Well, I don't know. I need something. The one I have is okay. It's super amped, but it only picks up two channels. Channel uh, nine and eleven. Do do you know how bad that is? Super amp. Yeah. My that only say, picks up two channels? Well, if you're up higher, if I'm up on the second story... Well, you know what? That might be two. It's because we live in a valley here. Yeah. I can get it. I can get more channels up there. And also, it might be, have something to do with our aluminum but foil now siding. now that you mention it in the bedroom, I can get channel 2 and 23. I can't get 4, 5, or 9, or 11 up there now. There's no uh, antenna hooked up there. Right. Well, without an antenna, you're going to get even less. Yeah. I don't know. There's a cord hanging up there. I strongly suggest you try a mohu leaf. Everybody loves it. Really? Yeah. Everybody? All those 1,200 reviews? Well, there were probably like 50 bad ones, but they probably just got bad units. Mm. They should send it back. Well, most people are really weird, and they don't send. They give a product to one-star review when it doesn't work, and then they don't send it back. Or if they do send it back, they still leave their one-star review. Oh. Nonsense. Mm-hmm. And as a bonus, you don't pay shipping. It's Amazon. Yeah. Hmm. I think that was you. Yeah. New service month starting to later tonight. Hmm. Got that from the, uh, what do you call those people? The Virgin Mobile. I googled it. Yeah? What'd you find? It says the same thing it says. Yeah, imagine that. Okay. So what's your backup solution? Um, I don't have one. When are you going to get one? I should Google what my options are. Yeah, you could do that. I could also tell you some to look at specifically first. Um, well, that would make it easier. So one one backup solution that I personally don't like because I think it's a little bit pricey um, is carbonate. I've heard of that. Well, you know, you know, our good friend Leo. Mm-hmm. He he prom- he promotes this on Twitter, of course, as a you know, service. I don't like it because. Uh, it, it's fifty nine dollars. I know that it's per month. I think that's per year. Mm. I believe. Yes, yes, I would say that that is true. Um, but I don't. I mean, it'll work for one computer. So it's fifty nine dollars per year per computer. Mm. Um, on the other hand, you can store whatever you want up there. In carbonite. Right. So carbonite you can, bill. Right. So you can. It's secure. You know, it's all encrypted locally, and then it's stored encrypted on their servers. And uh, it's it's really nice. Sure, but it's fifty, you know, sixty bucks a year. I For thought one, that was, yeah. I thought that was a little pricey. Now, on the other hand, only your computer needs to be backed up. You don't have anything. 
I have my own methods of doing this. You because send everything to Google Plus. Right. Mm-hmm. All my pictures are public, and they're all backed up internally. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. I don't really store files either. Like all my school stuff, that's all stored in Dropbox. Mm-hmm. So I don't have to worry about that. Now, there are other services, too. Um, yeah, you got something a little, a little less. So. Well, so this is another service I've attempted at testing. What this do you is, have for free? Nothing. Oh. Google+, Plus, Facebook, oh. Picasso. Facebook. Now, all those things are not automatic. You have to do it manually, obviously. Yeah, that's true. Uh, those things aren't meant for backup, but they just happen to be really good at doing it. I like the automated method. So, you probably could do you could do this. This is, I don't think it's probably as low as one fifty per month, but it's probably about ten dollars a month or something. I don't know how much it really is, but it's some price. And but it's only so much it'll store. Ten 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 gigabytes wouldn't be enough for your picture folder currently. It's probably probably report probably pushing thirty two megs or gigs on there. Um, but you know the three dollar one there. Unlimited. And that's, of course, one computer. Um, I mean, I don't know. I, I just don't I, don't... I don't particularly like this service. Who is that? So this is um, Crash Plan. So for one year, it's 49 So for one computer, it's 49 mm-hmm. Otherwise, it's $3 a month. Okay. Um, I, I don't know. It's just... Uh, the idea of this is to have an off-site backup. So you have your main, you have your yeah. intern, you know, you have your in-house backup, mm-hmm. and then you have an off-site backup. That's great. Um, and, and in addition to this, one thing you can also leverage these services for mm-hmm. is if you had a folder of pictures you wanted to share to someone, like a ton, not like enough, not like m- way more than Facebook you would want to have on Facebook. Um, you could also like have uh, one of these services provide a download to someone else of the pictures you wanted to share directly. Mm -hmm. That's a possibility, too. You could just send this, uh, all my pictures over to your grandmother's computer. Well, so it's funny you mentioned that. Mm -hmm. No. (laughs) Um, I thought she was your backup once. Well, she was, but it didn't work. Um, her internet was not made for that. Mm -hmm. She has really slow internet. We have really slow upload. Mm Mm-hmm. So our slow upload and her slow download was not conducive to being a backup service. That's funny. Uh, it makes sense. Hmm. So I was doing something called rsync, mm-hmm. and so what rsync does is it, you know, it, it sends cop, you know, it sends parts of files over the internet to mirror locations. So if I had a folder, it would try to send that folder over, and then if I made one change, it would only send the change over, right? That's called rsync. Oh yeah, that's good. Because otherwise they already have it. Right. Well, so that that works in theory, but you need a lot of bandwidth for it because yeah. it's trying to check for changes all the time. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> See, with better mics, that wouldn't happen. There's something going on outside. Well, I think it was just a motorcycle. Motorcycle convention. Maybe. That was a couple of weeks ago. Didn't you hear the other people cheering? I don't hear TV. That was the Saints game. Yeah. Well, we're going to hear the fireworks eventually. You think they're going to have fireworks? So, there's another service you could try. Now, this is not for backup. This is for file sharing. I like sharing. how you use a lot of things not for backup as backup. Well, now, see, I don't use this as backup. This is file sharing. Oh. Is this... So, this is called Dropbox. Let me actually sign out of it so we can find the main page here. How I don't even see a sign out button. But you use them. Well, I use this for my personal stuff. So, like, my school folder... Uh, is right here, so it's it's under Dropbox right here. So all my school stuff from freshman year is there and all through ninth grade. So it's always synced. So on this computer, it's there. On that computer, it's there. On my MacBook Air, it's there. So whenever I'm working on a file, once I save it, it goes up to Dropbox and then gets redistributed to all my other computers. So all computers are always in sync with my work. That's cool. Right. So if I'm at school and I do something, it gets here and I can do it again. Hmm. So this isn't for back. I know this is just Dropbox. Um... Their pricing is, uh, I think, pretty expensive, but it's not for backup, so that's why. Um, I think, let's see, Pro 50 has nothing to do with their... Oh, yeah, I guess, okay. So for 100 bucks a year, you get 50 megabytes, 1 gigabyte referrals, up to 32 people, and, um, well, you know, it gets synced with all your computers if you, you want to. Are you using it free? Yeah, I'm doing the free one, but because I have an education edition... I get an extra five gigabytes or something. Oh. So that's pretty good for me. That is good. Um, 
I think you need a backup solution that you're willing to pay for. Off-site. Right. Mm. Yeah, I'll have to look into that. Because if you value your pictures... Now, I see, I don't. You don't value pictures? No, because when I have a picture that I like, I put it up... These are pictures of you. Yeah, but they're from like 10 years ago. I don't want those. No, they're from like 100 years ago. Okay, well, I want those even less. <laughs> they're of you as a baby. I don't, I don't care. They're so cute. But I didn't take them. And you used a crappy camera. I used cameras that had film. Well, yes, but you used a crappy film camera. Now, of there course. are good cameras. I used those cameras that even had the little disc film. That was... Now, there are cameras that were filmed that were good. Oh, I didn't have that. Well, right. So now, if it had been a good film camera, then it would have been okay. Hmm. High quality, man. No, they didn't have that in the old days. No, they did. They explicitly had high quality, but you just didn't want to participate. No, I couldn't afford that. I had a baby. So, if you're going to have a child, you might as well take really good pictures of them. No, I had to buy diapers. Uh, baby formula. Baby formula. I had a cat. Well, that cat was huge. <laughs> it was a good cat. Yeah. Needed needed toys. Catnip. No, it didn't. I like toys. It just slept. Mm. Yeah, I had a house. Yeah, that's reasonable. Remodeling. 20 years. Yeah. I had to buy the same things many times. Well, yeah, pretty much. Mm-hmm. Let's see. What other services are there? Um, let's see. A spider oak service? Spider, spider oak? Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Wow, that's pretty good. That's really a name of something? Spider oak? <laughs> it is. The fact that I can remember it is really impressive. Mm-hmm. So spider oak is more like Dropbox and less like Carbonite, but it functions as both. Um, let's see, there's also, this is a tough one, what is it, it's, um, Sugar Sink. This is also more like Dropbox and less like Carbonate, but it can also do that. Sync your life. Yeah. I, uh, personally, I use Dropbox for its file syncing capability and not its backup. If you want a backup, you have to pay for it. That's mm. the only real reasonable way to do it. Mm. Especially for the amount of files you have. Mm-hmm. And 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 like I thought, people just save their file on a little thumb drive and then. But but it's not off site then. That's what if their house burns down? What if there's a tornado? What if there's a flood? What do you do? Well, do you need it then? Well, I don't know. I'm asking. Well, it doesn't matter that you have your lost your ninth grade schoolwork. Well, no. Like so, then that doesn't matter. But technically, yes, it does. That's well, good. but but what if what if it was more recent than that? Like, what if it was a term paper I was working on? thesis right so what if it, what if i was working on that for a year and a half if if it's in my dropbox not only do i have a physical copy as physical as digital stuff goes on each computer it's also on their servers backed up like 20 times what if it's on your thumb drive and when the flash flood comes and it gets swept away no it's going to be in your pocket with you and then i'm going to be swept away well then you don't need your term paper well i think i do hmm. well when they fish you out of the lake and you'll have it in your waterproof thumb drive. Well, most flesh- that you bought on Amazon because it had twenty a, reviews, a billion reviews that were four stars or above. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't, I've never bought a flash drive on uh, Amazon. That's amazing. No, I just I don't do flash drive stuff anymore. It's all with Dropbox now. It's old. Uh, yeah, well, that's over. Yeah, it is. You've moved on. Solid media transport that's it's all you're synced you don't yeah. need to have carry no flat because you can wear the little what is it the lanyard no, and then people that. at work they have their little flash drive on there and their the picture id and their keys and their and, R- rsa yeah they their their RSA. token and where is that thing oh here it is well see i don't even need to carry that because it's in, integrated into my phone mm-hmm. so if, if i want to see my token i can just open my authenticator and i get to see my token that's amazing. Isn't that amazing? It's how it should be. Um, you can't open that on my phone. So my message finally got to you at 9.29. Just, you know, took a while. Yeah, well, that's how it is in the basement. I forgot what you said. I now. don't even know. Oh, hello. How's the weather over there in St. Paul? Well, I could reply back to you and it would take another hour. So for an astoundingly low price, you could have your entire computer backed up for only $139 for four years. Oh, that's that's a pretty good price. Mm-hmm. That, that's with uh, Crash Plan. Now, Crash Plan is good. I mean, I used it, and one of the nice things with Crash Plan is now this is when I used to do file stuff. This is when I used to care about my files. I'll explain that story after. But what I did is I had it from here syncing to the server, and then from the server I had it going up to Crash Plan. That sounds good. Yeah. So I mean, that's a possibility. 
Right. Um, but then what I decided was that wasn't a very elegant system because it, 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 going from Windows to Linux is kind of iffy at that. And then I, I was putting a lot of stuff up there, like, you know, like 20 gigabytes, 30 gigabytes. And I was on this free service and they didn't, I don't think they liked that. And I just didn't really care. So you can only use it for less free. Well, no. So if you pay for it, you get the unlimited plan. Mm-hmm. Um, so what I decided is just to stop storing files. So I don't have any files anymore. Mm-hmm. These podcast files are, you know, for work. So that's different. Different. Yeah. I upload these to S3. And then they're out there. Well, yeah, pretty much. Great. Yeah. S3 is an option, but it's pricier. Yeah. It's not made for backup. But you could use it as backup. There's a lot of things that aren't made for backup that work as backup. Right. Yeah, it tends to be that way. Hmm. Yeah. Like in the old days, like 2008, people would make Gmail accounts and then use them as backup centers. I heard that. I remember you talking about that. Yeah, it works. Not elegant. I was in the live podcasts, you know, many years ago. You mean like just sitting around? And- yeah, that's when you would talk to me. Right. Uh-huh. Well, now you have to come and be a guest in order for Actually me to talk. Actually a guest, you know, that's pretty ironic. Well, see, whenever a show will fall through, this is what I have. I have an open time <laughs> slot. <laughs> you have an open time slot, and you're saying I'm a guest, and I'm the fall through. Because <laughs> you have uh, free time because somebody else didn't show up and do his part. I'm the backup fill-in standby Okay, I'll take you because I can't get anybody else a guest. Is that a problem? <laughs> yeah. Why? I should be the main guest. Maybe you don't have anything to say. Because uh, you don't I, read news. No, but maybe if I knew I'd be a guest, I could read something. Okay, well, we'll get your own show then. You know, I hear a lot of noise in your basement. Did you hear that train noise? I don't know what you're and talking about. And there's smoke coming in, like, is somebody well, you Well, you haven't smelled the drugs coming in. Is there the a fire over there in the Just park? wait until you get the drugs. Mm. No, I can't tell. I could be right over there. I <laughs> yeah, can't. you're right. You don't know what drugs smell. I can't like. tell. <gasps> I didn't know. Didn't you go to high school? Yeah, but I didn't know they smell because I didn't know about that stuff. Well, I didn't either. There was Bambi and, you know, rainbows and unicorns when I went to high school. What messed up world were you living <laughs> That's when they did drugs in class. Now we at least they hide in the stairwell. Yeah, I don't know. I saw unicorns. That sounds pretty, pretty funny. Yeah. So you were a part of it, huh? I wasn't from the sixties. Wait a minute. I was born in the sixties. Yeah, I wasn't like people living in the 60s sure <laughs> <laughs> hmm. i'm the fill-in fallback guest yeah hmm. so i think we covered the, the backup solutions I, i'm gonna have to look into that i i need to back up my pictures i think you really do like if you i do va- use facebook i mean but, it, but if you value your pictures i mean there are more pictures you have than you can put on facebook obviously yeah and you don't plus, want all pictures uh, on facebook either no and i don't want to actually sit there and do all of that right so what would be better for you is to have a service just up take them all and just uh, have them there ready that, to would, go. that would be ideal right one of the cool things too is that when you so when you like in the future when you get a new computer you can um you don't even have to have those pictures locally anymore so the the the, the 800,000 photos you have right now if you get a new computer and your drive doesn't have them on it they're still up there That's i cute. could send this to google plus yeah if you only i could oh, well, back I... it up this picture i just took with my phone i should back this up well see my backup solution isn't that i have to back it up it's just on the internet i have to take out see i have to open up the little cover here take this off and then here's the here's the the little tiny media card right here. So I don't think I have. Oh, I do have a slot for that. It's very very tiny. You take that. Yeah, and there's the picture of the dog. See, when I no, no. So it's a, you know, there's a few steps here. This isn't just up and it's up up and away. What section is it in? Blackberry pictures. That is a cat. Well, that's not a. That is a cat. <laughs> that's a nice looking cat. That's cute. Sam. I don't know where your pictures are. I think you made it all. Blackberry. What's this? That's. Huh, that's cool. That's it, <laughs> isn't it? No, I put yours in. Oh, I don't know what that is. Mm. You have 
Oh, oh, there's just stuff all over What do you have over there? Blackberry. Pictures. Pictures. What's that one in the middle? Oh, there it is. <laughs> there's a lot of pictures, and there's 600 or something. 522. Yeah, I deleted 100. <laughs> Why are they in order? Um, I don't know, aren't they? Like, just one of them. It's a picture of a dog. Oh, most of them are dog pictures. I found it. Flower pictures. I like that cat. It's blurry. I don't want that. That's a terrible picture. That's cute, though. I might take that. It's a cat picture. Yeah. Dog looks like a cat. I don't know where that was. I found it. It's right there. Hmm. There's a few steps here, I guess. You have to do a lot of clicking. Yeah, but I'm good at clicking. You're not. No. No. But it's not like your phone. Yours just goes. Well, so if I took a picture, mm-hmm. what I would do is if I, if I li- really liked it, if it was a really great picture, mm-hmm. I would use Instagram mm-hmm. and, you know, put a filter on it maybe, and then I would take it, and then I would, you know, give it a caption, and then I would send it to Facebook and Twitter. Oh. Uh, if, I, if I liked it less, mm-hmm. I would take the picture, and then it would sync up with Google+, and then if I liked it at that point, I would share it on Google+. I've never sent a picture to Twitter. Well, you're missing out. I don't know anybody on Twitter. Well, you're still missing out. Why would I send the cat picture to Twitter? Because you might like your cat, and you might want to have other people see your cat and say how cute it is. Yeah. Nah, this is too hard for me. I don't know what's going on over there. You have to put this little media card back in there. It's very tiny. Don't lose it. It's got 500 pictures on it. I should back that up. Yeah. I saved it. I've copied them. I have them. On the computer. That's good. That's not backed up. No. Well, it is, but just in, it's too local. Yeah, it's not in the picture folder. Well, it's got to be in the picture folder. It's in the... Oh, yeah, I probably copied it into the picture folder. Yeah, you got to put it into the picture folder. Not everything is in the picture folder. Got to be in the picture folder. Okay. So I would I would look at Crash Plan first, and then maybe Carbonite, and then that's it. Two choices. <laughs> I mean, there are other, there are other choices, other great choices, but I think those are the two, probably two of the best. I mean, a lot of people use Crash Plan. One of the great features is that it's cross-platform. So if someday you, for some reason, you suddenly switch to a Mac, mm-hmm. you can use Crash Plan without any difference. Really? Yeah. Well, that's nice. So it's cross-platform. Oh, that could happen because you promote Macs. Well, I I predict you'll be using a Mac in five years. You predict that yeah. you're gonna like. Oh, in five years, you're going to use... Well, no, the reason I predict that is, at that point, Windows will have been been in such a sad state of so so few updates to make any reasonable improvement, and the hardware manufacturers will keep making junk like that thing, Uh, and uh, at that point, Macs will be the only reasonably well-made computer at that point. That didn't sound nearly as mysterious and, like, mystical as, oh... In five years, I predict. You know, you kind of... No, I think I might based it all on logic. Oh, that's too. That's no fun. No. Okay. Well, let's see what day is this. Five years from now. 2017. I'll get back to you. <laughs> Can I be a guest? <laughs> Can you slot me in? <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me open up my calendar. <laughs> open a calendar. If only your phone would respond. Yeah, I know. Tell me about it. Open calendar. Okay, so here's my calendar. Mm-hmm. Is it so, synced up with everything? So let me let me jump. Yeah, can you jump five years ahead? No. You can't go that far. I know I can. What, what month? Mm-hmm. July? How what is today? July. 7th? 7th. Yeah. Oh, it's a Tuesday. There I'm, you go. I'm Chris has guessed. Guess, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good. That'll be fun. That is you some... should say from the, you know, from the past. Well, it'll tell me when I entered it. Oh, and you'll say why? That is the most <laughs> far wrong. <clears throat> you'll say item why did I list? do that? That's ridiculous. I'm gonna be a guest. Then. Okay. You'll be lucky if we're doing this in five years. Well, then I won't be a backup fill-in wannabe guest. I'll be the scheduled guest. Well, if you don't back up between now and then, you're gonna be crying. Well, I'll tell you about it. I don't want to know. I'll tell you what I should have done. You know that that tech show. What is that show? TikTok. Oh, <laughs> TikTok. TikTok. Oh, that is not okay. I love that show. I hate that show. I love when you listen to that show because then you get angry. Because it's terrible. I know. He really has no idea. Well, like you said, the one guy just talks and then the other guy... Is, uh, the, is the narrator, introducer guy. I don't like, yeah. there's no point. And then the guy who does talk, well, he, he just says, well... Call me later. Call me later. <laughs>
Well, you could do that. You could tell me to back up. You could tell, tell me about backing up, but then tell me to write you a letter. With what and I'm, a quill. Yeah. And an ink quill. <gasps> and then tell me about it, that I will tell you that I'm scanning my pictures and I'm saving them, and then I'll write a little letter to you explaining that. And then Like, you can't do tech support over the phone and on a radio show. I mean, it I doesn't work. I what, yeah, like what they called in today for. I don't know. They were going to fix something, because the guy... His computer was shutting down. It was his hard drive. Oh, it was his hard drive. Sure. I mean, mostly his computer was shutting down because it's probably six years old. And that's your first mistake. He thought it was a laptop. Yeah, who knows? It wasn't, though. Without knowing, who knows? He said it wasn't. Great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you just can't do tech support over the internet. They're just getting ideas. No, but they're getting bad ideas. You shouldn't they're, get ideas. They're trying to um Your first to idea. Broad audience listening to that channel station your first idea if you have a computer problem is when did i last spend money on this Mm -hmm. and if your answer is more than three years there's your problem that's the problem yeah that guy probably didn't spend any money so like when's the last time you spent money on your car well it's relatively new so i haven't spent any money no but i mean like something for your car oh like when you bought your last air freshener or when you bought gas for it last. Oh, I It would have been like last week. Okay, great. Mm-hmm. Well, most people don't buy things for their computer. Mm-hmm. And that's usually why they die. So you're saying I should buy air freshener for my computer? <laughs> yeah, you should clean it. Oh. Every week. Blow it out, scrub it, do something to it. Yeah. Take an air compressor and clean it. Oh, man, those things were great. Defrag. No, don't do that. That's pointless. Oh. Windows 7 does that for you automatically. Mm. And then when when you when you get your next computer, it's not going to even have a hard drive in it, so it doesn't matter. Okay. You don't have to worry about that. Is that your little basket of candy? <laughs> Do you like that? Isn't that great? It's got an urban kind of feel to it. <laughs> you want to describe that for the audience? Well, you know, I have a candy dish. It's crystal upstairs. Not real crystal, but it's fake crystal. But it's still clear glass and looks really nice when you put... Um, butterscotch candy or hot cinnamon candy but this is the urban metal rectangle oh, light fixture box that goes inside a wall that you put a handle on and you love to put rubber binders on things well those were bumpers like in case i hit something like the rubber oh, band sure. it's like it can hit this Bing. and it won't hurt because the the binder hits first mm. yeah who made that i did oh I was bored. Mm-hmm. Really, what I was doing is I was picking up the table, and I just found all the pieces to make this. Uh-huh. And then you said all these pieces could make a candy dish. Yeah. It was originally for pens, but I didn't ran out of pens. I have candy. You have candy. That looks good. So I just took that picture. Now, what I'm doing is I'm going to go to Instagram. So I hit the Instagram button right here. But does that make every picture look old? It can. I can send a regular picture to it, but I like them to look old and retro. I love mm. retro. It's so good. Mm. I used to live in the retro. Yeah, but you just made everything look bad. Mm-hmm. So here's the picture. Here's the candy dish. Mm-hmm. There, there, that is right there. I like how it kind of crops it right there, and you just could touch your screen. So then there's the picture. My phone would just send the whole picture. There's no cropping. So I'm playing with some filters. Oh, I like that one. That one looks okay, but maybe... Nah, I don't like that one. Oh. No, I don't like that one either. How about, how about this one? Ooh. Uh, Ooh. Okay, we'll go with that. So then, it makes the candy really yellow. Yeah. So then, yeah. So then I hit that, mm-hmm. and then it does the little process thing, and then I can put in a caption. So, uh, urban, can- or urban, candy. Ur- urban candy dish. Um, I like how those Android phones. So then I pick Twitter and Facebook, and then I hit it upload. Oh, those little check boxes. Yep. And so then there it is. Now, now, uh, now. It's on Twitter. So then, if I go over to my Twitter and Facebook. So here's my Twitter. And I'm signed out apparently, and that's not good. So if I go to Facebook, let's see if I'm signed into that. So if I go to my profile. I can find a candy dish. Yep, there it is. Oh, that's so cute. Dog. Bridge. That dog looks the same now. I like those Android phones because I didn't realize you could do photo albums. Well, you can't really do a photo album. Like, Mine is just, you know, I have like, uh, what, wall, mobile, well, so mobile like, uploads. Like it says albums. Yes. But that doesn't mean anything. Do you mean like for Facebook? Well, I just have all of my pictures in one folder on... On your phone. On my phone. Well, so on Android, you can't really do that either. But 
if you have an Android phone, you get to use Google Plus, and you can have albums on Google Plus. But you could have different flowers in one folder, and you can't. Phone. You can't really do that. Well, it seemed like you could. I've seen people have fish. That's photos. a different phone, perhaps. It's still Android. Yeah, but th- then you'd have to get the same phone. Right. Yeah. Don't 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 do that. It's not a good feature. It's kind of pointless. Well, I didn't know it could even do that. Well, but see, you don't need to organize the pictures on your phone because you shouldn't be showing them to people on your phone. What you should be doing is showing them but to people, people with a service. But I people do show them on their phone. Well, you doing hey, it how are you? The weather in St. Paul well, so is that great. Doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. Here's my phone, and I want to show you all my Because what they should pictures. be doing, they should be following you on Twitter and Facebook and on Google+. Plus. And if they're not, then they're not keeping up with you. They're not keeping up with me. Well, then, then what's the point? It's you point. could use that to charge your phone, you know. It's pointless. Make sure you take the coaster. Oh. You have a lot of lot of gadgets in here. What do you think I do? You're like a tech guy, aren't you? I have, no, I'm not the tech guy. The tech guy. No, I'm, I'm. I have a name. The tech guy. You could be the whiz guy. <sighs> that show bothers me. It's really weird. Did they talk a lot about tech? Well, it's just like you know gadgets you could find like at a store. They're not like electronics and stuff. Gadgets. I like gadgets. They're, I'm not impressed. Don't you like those little uh, speaker cat animals? That, that was dance? not okay. That made no sense. <laughs> I like that. I think that's cool. That is cool. That's a candy dish. And you could just take that picture and send it right on up there with Instagram. I mean, you saw me take the picture. I know. You know, you should try that with mine. I did. Well, one, you don't even like my pictures because they're blurry. <laughs> it was blurry. <laughs> You poo pooed them. Poo poo, yeah. I'm not going to use you. You. Well, only... here's a picture of the dog I took earlier. You're the fill in guest, and I don't like your pictures. <laughs> right. Well, so, I mean, look. Uh, I mean, look at that. It's a great picture of the, your pet. Yeah, your camera actually takes excellent pictures for a phone. Well, you know how I got my new phone. This is my new phone. Well, in my pr- pr- professional opinion, the old phone took better pictures. Oh. Old phone sucked, but it did take better pictures. Why? I think its sensor was a little bit bigger than these. I mean, there are two of these, but these are smaller. Um, I'm just guessing. I don't really know. But I I like the pictures on the old one better. I like any picture, but these. And this screen is way too tiny. You can get a great phone you right know, now. Right here, you can touch it. And except, nothing, and except nothing happens. Nothing happens when you touch the BlackBerry screen. I mean, you can get a really great phone. You know, phone. I see people just flicking and touching, and then they go like this, and they can open and make things smaller and move all over. Yeah. None of that you happens. Can, you can join the future, too, anytime. Yeah, I don't know. This one still works. No, it doesn't. It does. It calls people. No, it doesn't. It can call. It's horrible. And you it, can get a really great phone. You can get a 1V mm-hmm. for only um, 199 and that thing is amazing. And it'll probably be upgradable to Jelly Bean. Well, I would like a upgraded phone because I'd like my work stuff on it. Especially when Which I'm is going... funny because I was offering to put work stuff on that oh, one. Oh, I know. Especially when I have to, you know, work at various locations. So let me now. show you how easy it is to add work stuff. So you go, you open your phone, you go to the home screen, you you uh, click settings, you go to that, you wait a while, and then you go up to accounts and sync, and then you can do uh, add account, and then. You look through this list of uh, exchange right here. See the exchange? Mm-hmm. That's what you people use. Yeah, it's those yeah. people. Yeah. That's what corporations use. You click that, mm-hmm. and then you get to set up your account. And that's that simple. Mm-hmm. Yep. That sounds simple. It doesn't sound simple on this. But it's probably actually easier on uh, BlackBerry. But... Well, good. I well, mean, uh, you know, we can do this any day. Somebody offered at work to help set it up. It's not hard. I didn't do it. I don't know why. Well, I don't know. Then I'd actually have to look at it. No, you wouldn't. I'd think about it. Then I'd want to look at it and glance at it, and then I'd respond all the time. Maybe you'd get work done. Uh I don't know. Maybe that's just a bizarre idea, but it's possible. I think so. Are you going to Google something? Yeah, social media. Oh, you want to talk about that? What what, what about social media? We were going to talk about Facebook. Okay, let's talk about Facebook. What What do you know? Well, I use it. I'm glad. At least we're making progress. Do you use Facebook? I do use you Twitter. Do use Twitter? Well, I have, I have used But you don't Twitter. use Twitter. I don't use like, it. Like, I tweet like 20 times a day. I love Twitter. No, I wouldn't say I use it, because I, I, when was the last time I used it? Well, let me find out. Yeah, why don't you? Tell what? me, let's let's tell the audience what your lame username on Twitter is. St. Paul Girl 7. 
But but enumerate these. They're gonna try to follow me now, aren't they? Well, I don't know. We'll find out. And then they'll know that I said November twenty fourth. But I don't know what year that's from. Last year. Yeah, it's eleven. What did I say? You said it Big took making it a studio for you to clean and paint the room. <laughs> Should have yeah. called it a studio years ago. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's true. <laughs> I just need to get rid of that. Nonsense. This is a studio. It used to be a storage room. It's much better. That's why stu- all this stuff was in it. Well, I'm going to get rid of the stuff. Call it a studio and you clean it up. You know, you, do you, you smell some insidious somebody drugs? Somebody's like burning. They're having a forest fire or there's uh, grilling in the park. Or it's drugs. Or it's drugs. Or they're <sighs> cooking something. It's amazingly bad. This used to be your bedroom. See that blue paint? I do. That was yours. Well, it's always mine. Yeah, and then you had stars. Yeah, they're still there. We painted we over painted them. painted over the stars. They're impossible to take off. Yeah. St. Paul girl. Stepaul girl, I think. Paul girl. That's right. I think right. that's what you call it. Yeah. Yes, it is. It's really S-T. St. Paul girl. You know what we should do? We should make you a new account. And somebody criticized me for being a girl when I'm over a certain age. Who did age. that? Somebody. Did I do that? I don't think I criticized you. Stepal. You didn't get over the first part. <laughs> <laughs> but somebody said when you're over a certain age, you shouldn't use the word girl. What should you use? Well, I don't know. Mature woman. <laughs> I don't know. St. Paul. Well, that mature. wouldn't classify you then. <laughs> St. <laughs> Paul, mature woman. Who knows? See how lame that sounds. <laughs> That's why I didn't go with it. I went with the St. Paul girl seven because six was taken. What are you gonna do? Over I'm gonna there? make a new account for you. Oh. One with a professional. Oh, a professional name. Yeah. What do you have? Well, I have Ryan Mr. Oh, but I also supposed to be Chris Mr. Well, whatever. <laughs> no, I'm not an M. <laughs> not really. No, but uh, I also do own. Ryan Rampersad as a Twitter account. Oh. I have it redirected to my mm-hmm. used one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if- well, I felt Ryan Rampersad was always too long, and and all my services are under Ryan Mr. Mm-hmm. So I, I thought I would just go with that. That makes sense. It's easy to find. You can Google me anyway, and you just find my real name. Google you. Find you. Of course, you're not. You have everything out there. Everything. It's right there. You're setting it up right now, huh? Yep. Uh, that's another password I'm going to have to remember. Nope. This is part of the social media revolution? Pretty much. It's very important. Can I follow, like, Jimmy Kimmel? You can follow whoever you want, but what you have to do is you have to get people to follow you, and you have to actually, res- you know, tweet. You say all the people that follow me are spammers. Yeah, well, when they're spammers, you have to block them immediately. Well, how am I supposed to tell the difference? If they say something stupid block them that's what you say about me <laughs> have you blocked me no no you can usually tell if they're a spammer when they just send you a link without text oh yeah we don't want them to do that no no you don't well then when i get my new phone i'll be able to send pictures to twitter you is my username gonna be chris ramper said yep that's so long it is but it's very recognizable oh you never have to type it when you use LastPass. Fine. Fine. I wanted a good name. That is a good name. It's your name. There's no better name than your own name. You don't have your own I do. Oh. It redirects. Trans- completely transparently. To just R. Yeah, Ryan MR. Mm-hmm. That's not like when you go to my page, you don't see my name anyway. Oh. Okay, then. So what am I going to say on this Twitter thing. Well, I don't know, but you're going to love your password for it. I can tell you that much. Sure. It's going to be 25 characters. No, it's only 10. Okay, 10 characters. Mm-hmm. That's right there. Yeah. Isn't that good? Sure. Want to tape that in? No. No. Nope, I don't. I don't think I'll remember that. I can't even remember any of mine. Last pass. Way to go. Are you trying to steal a picture? Yeah, it's hard. Well, you don't like any of my pictures? Not really. What's wrong with that? They're low quality. Well, that's because of why? Because you have a crappy phone. They were taken with my phone. Well, you know, you, maybe this is a good point to, to to upgrade your phone. Well, you know, it's just from two years ago. The camera was from two years ago, right here. Phone and camera still work, but if you breathe, <laughs> you the breathe? pictures get a little blurry. Well, I think that means 
that you need to get a new phone. Oh, but it still works. But it doesn't do what you need it to do. Hmm. Sure, you're going to get my big head. You could have got the dog in there. I like when you're farther away. Well, the reason I did that is because it's a square. Uh Uh-huh. Can't you have a square, like, really far away? No, I don't like that. I do. Yeah, but you need to own your presence. I wanted wanted to own it from farther away. (laughs) Like that loon in the background. They like that. That was a great picture. That's one of my favorite pictures. There you are. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, yeah, great. <laughs> you could have just taken a picture of the loan. No. Um, I should tweet something. Yeah. I want to thank all my <laughs> listeners <laughs> for having Ryan on as a guest. But you know what's funny? <laughs> is like everybody I know, I made their Twitter account. Like I made Sam's, I made Matt's. So that's, that's what you do. Yeah. You go around making rogue Twitter accounts for people. Well, I tell them to change their password after. I doubt they ever do. Hmm. But it's very important to are, have a Twitter account. Are they tweeting? Yeah. Sam tweets occasionally. 20 times a day? No. More like 20 times a month. Oh, that's more than I do. Well, now you're going to start. Every once in a while I would tweet and follow like um, the lunch trucks that were around. The, the lunch new- trucks. Those are great to follow. Because then, you so know. So even put your website here so they can go to your website and giggle at you there too. I'm a human. That's it. I have not been defined. You don't even other- load anymore. <laughs> I could be a crafter, a human, and a dog lover. Oh, you're going to edit that? Oh, look, like, you is, made one is... for Matthew. Yeah, so this is when I made him. He's got a nice little bar underneath his picture. Well, see, I, I got better. Hmm. Well, see, he had links to services. He had a Twitter, he had a Google, he had a Facebook. I have links. Yeah, but you then you're the one who says, I don't want anyone to know me. To know me is to love me. I don't know about that. <laughs> well, now that you've got me all over the place, I'm going to own my presence. Good. It's about time. I've got, um, I'm a community a- activist. Well, I'm a community member. How many I times have, have you posted in that form? Once. That's not very active then. Well, I wore a hat. It was heavy and I had to walk six blocks in it. Mrs. Maypole. Yes. I was one spoke of the maypole. That should count. What are you saying? This isn't me. What am What am I saying? What are you saying is my me? new Twitter account has arrived. Finally, real. Mm, no, it's State Paul Saint Paul Girl Seven. I'm gonna have it redirect to Saint Paul Girl Seven. Yeah, you do that. That'd be funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna set that up. Uh-huh. What is this show? This is, uh, what is this show? Must be number eight, then. I'm a guest. Are you saying I'm a guest? Well, I said that you can visit the website for more details. I'm a guest. I was planned. We planned this all along, you know. Yeah, of course it was. We and by pl- planned, I mean forced. We planned to have me be the fill-in when you needed a fill-in. Well, you know what we need to do now? We need to get you on the last pass. Yeah. Completely. For, for this? No, for everything. Oh, I You don't. can't use last pass... So, do you want I started using LastPass? No, I do not, no. I started using it uh, two Augusts ago. Uh So, I I started just on one August evening, and I I had thought, well, this would be a good time to try it before school. Give it a couple weeks before school, and I'll try it the first week of school, and we'll see how it goes. Did you confirm our Twitter account? No, but you have to. Uh You're not going to do that for me? I can't. I don't have access to your account. Mm. It's your email. Okay. So, so follow the link. I'm not going to do that on my phone. Are you ridiculous? I would just read that like I did on my phone. It's not going to load. It's well, are you going to go do you... it on your computer then? No. Go do it on your computer right now. No, I'm not going to do that now. I've got it open upstairs. <sighs> <laughs> I'm going to sign in. No, you, you have to understand that you can be open <laughs> everywhere. I know, but I'm not going to. Why not? I don't want to. You should. <laughs> did you try it? Yeah, it's getting there. <laughs> uh-huh. It's Maybe. not going to work. No, probably not, but we're going to find out. You're loading it on my phone because you're going to have to know something, passwords or something. I hope that. And then you can't find any of them on the keyboard, and I have to remember what they are. And then if you did remember, you'd have to know. Cause well, there's, there's only one special character. There's only a dollar sign. Oh. It's 
still loading, huh? So, what, what do you want to talk about social media? Um, what did we want to talk about? Having a Facebook page with nothing on it versus having something with on it. But I thought we talked about this where I want. I was I was uh, very vocal, but I can't remember what the part was. Hmm. Well, of course there is that. I have stuff on mine, and I actually post on mine, and I have some games. You're anti games. You should stop doing that. That's a waste of time. It's a hobby. No, it's not. A hobby is where you make something useful with your time. Like website? No, that's a business. Oh. No, like wood carving. That's a hobby. Mm-hmm. Fishing. That's a hobby. So is it just passing time? No, it's doing something quantitatively useful with your time. Playing games, not useful. Now, if you're playing Guild Wars or like an MMORPG or if you're playing like a game with intensive thought, that would be useful because then you'd be bettering yourself. How about just something to relax? But that's not relaxing because you want to beat people in the game. Well, right, if you're playing solitaire, that's to relax. No, that's to pastime. That's not relaxing. Pastime and relaxing. Take a little mental break. You take a mental break your <laughs> whole day. <laughs> you were going to say that. <laughs> I don't think you should talk to your guests that way. <laughs> I only tell the truth here. <laughs> people probably hear that noise. People love when people eat on this show. Do they? Yeah. Do people eat on this show? Oh, all the time. Sam's notorious for eating something. I don't know what it was. Can, That's... can they tell by the sound? Rapper if you can identify what animal she's eating, you get 25 points. I love your point score, too. It's way low. Yesterday, you gave me 25 points, and I thought it was a total ripoff. For what? I, I don't know. Well, but I wanted more points. Oh, oh I know. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I know. No <laughs> wonder you're still a girl. <laughs> yep. Have you had sugar? <laughs> I gave it away. <laughs> the intense red and laughing <laughs> melts in your mouth. No, you gave me 25 points for turning off my monitors. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was good. It was a ripoff. I have two monitors. <laughs> you <wanted> 50. <laughs> I should have got 50 points. No, you got 12.5. No, that's totally wrong. I knew right away I should have got more points. You're lucky you even got points for that. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot of work. I had to close the blinds and turn off two monitors. Well, that's why you need a backup solution. So when you don't close the blinds one day and you get mugged, you'll have your pictures still. That's right. Mm-hmm. I wanted 50 points. Come on, give me those other 25 points. Maybe later. Mm-hmm. So, what about Facebook? I don't know. What about Facebook? I, I use it all the time. Yeah. So, uh, what, uh, what if, if I read your Facebook... Yeah, go ahead. On, ...on a logged out account, what would I see? I thought it would be good. So, this is what I see when I look at your page on Facebook. Looks good, huh? But what I don't like is that I don't see anything you've personally written. Um, you don't? Don't you see, like, my job or my... Well... Anything? I see... I think you used to. That you have contact info, which is your website, which goes back to Facebook. I'm, I'm a human. I f- see that you like the band Perry, Adele, Dirty Word, and Jonah and the Whales, some books. Mm-hmm. Somehow you like the Dark Tower, which I think is a lie. I you don't like, know if I put that on there. You like Alien, Avatar, and Toy Story. Those are the three movies you like. You hate every other movie. Which movies? Toy Story? Toy Story, Avatar, and Alien. Mm-hmm. You like those three things. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. Uh, you like walking, biking, post crossing, and camping. That's it. I like Big Brother. Um, so what I don't like is that I don't see anything on your page here. Uh, it used to say, so I'm going to have to update yeah, you, that. Yeah, you, you definitely need to do that. Let's see, that's the HD. I should go fix that. Maybe I could log into that. Oh. Yeah, why don't you try doing that from... Right over there. I do have it open upstairs, but I could... Uh, so this is my page, and I don't, I don't even like this. This is not good either. What's wrong with yours? Well, it doesn't show anything either. Well, so this is... Um, so if you... Okay, so here, let me let me do that to you, too. Well, what do you want it to say? Okay, so this, so if you're logged into Fa- if you're logged out of Facebook, you don't see a whole lot. But if you're logged into Facebook, you do see some other stuff. So it'll say Alina Health, North Memorial, Bloomingdale, yeah. it tells you Neighborhood where I Involvement. Worked. It says some cheap info. Are you logged in now? 
Well, I'm locked into an account that I don't use. Oh, I, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's just as long as you're logged in, you do see some stuff. But I don't like that I don't see stuff that you've written. Well, I might have posted a few things that were to the public for my four subscribers. Well, you should post a lot more to public. I think I posted a couple things. Don't you, you see you, any well, public you, things? You li- publicly liked a link. You uh-huh. publicly updated your cover photo. Look, there's my community service page. But I don't see anything written by you personally. Look, there's now, on my page, you can see everything that I write publicly. Everything. I don't do any of that nonsense public, private stuff. Because... Look, there's a picture from outside. Yeah. That's nice. Isn't it? Taken with my phone. Can you see the gnome garden? Yeah, kind of. Is that a recycling suck? <laughs> Why would you get that in the picture? Well, I can crop it out. Photoshop. Hmm. Not going that, to. That's the one day you took out the recycling. That was the day when they returned our, tu- or, or, our tube. Oh. Our tube of uh, tube of recycling cardboard that was the dog. Look, is right there in the same spot. Yeah. she is right now. She's always She's there. There right now. But yes, so like every all everything I take is up there. It's all public, and and for very obvious reasons because people need to know that it's there. And what's weird is I have sixteen subscribers. That's creepy. Where did you get all of those? I don't know. They're probably people from uh, like Google Plus or people from the blog trying to find me or something. Well, see, I only friend people I know physically, and everybody else gets to be a subscriber. How do you do that? Well, if I don't add them, they get tired of waiting, oh, and they then. want to see my updates, so they become a subscriber. They just go themselves. Well, I, you'd assume Facebook, if... Um, you you'd, could make them a subscriber. Well, no, like if on Facebook, if um, you want to add somebody as, their, as your friend, until they accept, you're a subscriber just then. Mm-hmm. That would be a good assumption also. Yes, that would work. I'm going to like your picture here. Good. Your um, candy dish. <laughs> Nothing great. Clever. It's very clever. Clever candy dish. Yep. So I have some photos. Not many. I have this photo. That's the dog trapped in a cooking device. I have this photo. There's a brick that you have purchased. I have this photo. That's it. That's all I have in that album. In the cover photo, I have these. Not many. In the studio photo section, I have these. Mm -hmm. So I don't have many pictures public, mostly because I don't really, I didn't really use Facebook for that. But on the other hand, if you scroll through, you can see all of the pictures I've uploaded individually. So that's just probably just as fine. So I just got this notification that you liked my picture on my phone. I'll show it to you when it loads. It's good. Oh look, it said that candy dish cover. Facebook looks good on your phone. It tries. Um, no. I don't. Yours doesn't. No, oh, I get a little F on mine. Oh, I see that, that you get this. Yeah, it sleeps a lot. I see you get this little little page here where you're supposed to yeah. verify mm-hmm. my account yeah, on I'm Twitter. Not, that's ridiculous. Yeah. Can you type in that little box and can you do anything on this phone? No. No, it's no. impossible. See, well, and you laugh at me for not following the links. It's like, if there's, you're not supposed to go to the links on my phone. It's not for using. Did you see that? Did you follow me on Pinterest? No, I don't like Pinterest. It's kind of pointless. Here, here's here's what I'm going to make. Cook these cookies for... You have to pick it up. I'm going to make this cookie for uh, Christmas. It's, it's a melted, surprise snowman. <laughs> it's, it's a melted snowman That's cookie. funny. They use a marshmallow and then That's they clever. have... Yeah, yeah. I got it. And then they have a big puddle of icing. And you want to go make s'mores? No, it kind of looks like... want to make a s'more? I have some s'more mix. I just ate a chocolate bar. Okay, well, we'll do it right up then. That's well, good. so, um, you know Sam Eberts, right? I do. Know well, him. so he um, just met up with one of his friends in China. The, one of his friends, I don't know. And he has a VPN right now so that he can, he can go on Facebook. So in China, v- Facebook is blocked. Oh. So he has to use a VPN to... There's no Facebook in China. No. no. So he had a VPN into the U of M to... They have their go. own Facebook among themselves. Like, what is that called? Gunshots or what? No, I don't know. No, they don't want that. They might, they might get ideas to communicate with each other. That would be bad. Can't do that mass communication. No, but in America, we don't even do that because we just play games on Facebook. That's right. So it's kind of self-limiting. Well, see, I'm going to go like a new movie. Great. You do that. I'm going to update my information here. That's a cute dog. Contact info. 
put your new Twitter in there. So you saw my contact info? Well, uh, I think I only saw... I don't. Oh. I think I only saw your uh, website. Oh, so now my name is Chris dot Ramper said one on Facebook. at Facebook. Yeah. Did it always say Facebook? Yeah. yeah, that was in the news. That was it, in it, the... it recently changed. What was it before? Well, that? it used to be whatever email address you had associated with your account. Now it did change, however, to the Facebook email. Mm. You can change it back if you'd like. No, no, I don't need to change it. Well, that means people are gonna if they did send an email to you, it'd be going to Facebook. Uh-huh. Oh. Where were they sending it before? To whatever email address they saw on the page. Oh. Well, the, I have three of them, but they're only for friends. So only, only friends could see them. That's weird. Why? Should my should the public see them? Your public should, The public should see the public-facing email address. I don't have that. You do. You have your name, email address. I could have that. That is, that's what, on my, on, on my website, it says, Ryan down Ryan Percent. It says that on Facebook? On, on Facebook, on my website, everywhere. It's uh-huh. the public-facing email address. So I can write to you. Right. And then you'd get it. Right. And then it redirects seven times. It actually does do that. <gasps> and then it goes to the middle person, and then it comes through something, and it can go to my phone. Yeah. yeah. Revolutionary. It is. Mm-hmm. But the importance of having a public persona online it is very, very important. So let's see. Add another email. Why do I add another email? <laughs> Who knows? Facebook. Add a e- new email. So rampersad dot chris at gmail. They're all gonna. They're all gonna write me now. All my fans. <laughs> all like three of them. <gasps> I want all my fans. Thank you, fans. <laughs> You're weird. You're jealous. <laughs> okay. If that's what you think. Uh-huh. Yep. Yep. That's right. Okay, I'm saving it. Oh, I have to uh, log in again. I just want to save it. Or... Twitter! Did somebody tweet me? No, I tweeted. Oh, well, now it has to confirm that it's a valid account. Okay, yet another thing to confirm. I'm so busy. If only you had an email address. I do have an email. That you could log into spontaneously. You know what you really need to do? You really need to get LastPass. Yeah, what would that do for me? Well, you know how you only log on one computer anyway? Yeah, I'm logged in upstairs. Right, so LastPass is kind of annoying when you have multiple computers, but I live with it. But when you only use one computer anyway, LastPass is really easy to use. And it just knows. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay. So, like, one of the ideas I have for this show in the future is to... There's, you know, Google Hangout, right? Yeah. So... We did it once with Ian. We just never did it again because we don't have a good webcam. Mm-hmm. But what I could do is I could record a Google Hangout. That would be awesome. It'd be kind of cool. Hard to, mar- hard to moderate, but I could, probably could do it. You, but the problem is most people who use it have really bad equipment. Like, yeah. you know, we have studio-grade equipment since it's a studio. Mm-hmm. Most people just have a webcam and a mic. Yeah. Kind of cheap. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's all I know. What do you know? How's your Facebook? Is that working? Yeah. I have a few subscribers. Um, so, let, let's let's recap. What did you learn? Today? Yeah. Well, that I should storm and back up my pictures. You should, you should have three copies. You should have your original, your local backup, and your off-site backup from some third party you pay for. Right. Yes. Um, that there's a lot of noise in your basement. And just really strange smells that just radiate down through that window. That this dog is asleep again in the same spot it always sleeps in. Yeah, but it's, it likes its little rug. It does. It's happy. It's very tired. Yeah. And that you have a candy dish. That is amazing. Urban retro. Urban retro, yeah. Candy dish. I didn't know you had that. You never shared. It's been in here the whole time. Mm. Okay. What else is there? That my phone sucks. Yeah, but I think you knew that. I did. Did you learn about the replacement phone yet? No. Well, 
It's a great phone for just one ninety nine. It's called the One V. It's po- very pot- likely that it'll be upgraded to Jelly Bean. Mm-hmm. It's an amazingly great phone. Highly recommend it. Okay, it's got a good camera. Five megapixel. I wonder how many me- megapixels my camera. Three point two. Mm. And it has a front facing camera, so you can you know do video chat with somebody else if you're on Wi Fi. You could you could video chat with me. On my phone? Right. So you could be sitting in the lobby at work and you could just video chat with me. That's insane. I know. It's revolutionary. My phone can't do that. No, your phone can't do that. But there will be a time, very soon, I suspect, where you'll be able to see. You know, Are my you going to predict this? I know you can make predictions. <laughs> You've scheduled me to be a guest in five years. Yeah. And in five years, you think I'll be using a Mac. Oh, yeah. You definitely won't be using an iPhone. That's going to suck. Hmm. Now, what did you learn? Nothing. <laughs> Hmm, what i learned is i need to make a much more coherent calendar schedule so that if a guest or co-host or host decides to bail Mm -hmm. point to the calendar if you're on the calendar and you're not here we don't do it oh no show no show oh dear and i i used to be very angry and you know fervent about actually doing a show in any type no show oh dear but i did at this point i just don't care you care. I don't. Care differently. I care differently. I like that. Because, I mean, I'm, I'm, if we just don't do it on the day I have time for, we're just not going to do it that week. Mm, that's harsh. It is, but that's how it's going to have to be. It's come to that now. Yeah. Well, you're not going to use your subpar backup third removed guests? No, what, no that's fine. But uh, what I mean is, if we have a show scheduled for a day and it can't be done on that day... It just won't be done on that in that week. It'll have to go to the next time that show is scheduled. I see. I need to find some foam bricks. Yeah, here's the picture of the loon. I've seen it. I know, I like it. It's like right off my shoulder there. Roy in the background watching me hold the dog in the boat. Don't let it fall in. The dog? Mm-hmm. Or the loon? Both. The dog couldn't quite figure out if it was a bird or what. Because it would keep going underwater. The bark at it? I believe it did. Well, that's good. At least it's doing its job. Once or twice it tried to bark. It was terrified, though. It knew it was out in the middle of the water. Deep water. Water. Deep. It's, yeah. Water. Deep. Yeah, water. Deep, <laughs> deep water. It didn't necessarily like that. Yeah, I was going to do show notes for the show, but in retrospect, I don't really want to. That's a lot of work. Show notes? Yeah. For this show? Yeah. Oh. Well, because we haven't been, like, keeping a list. Oh. No. No list. Okay, then. It's over, then. And you like the dog picture, too, huh? Oh, yeah. I do. I do like it. That dog looks really tired. When did you take that? That was earlier today, before she went on her <laughs> run in the park. She looked that tired before. Yeah. Uh, she looks pretty tired. But it safely illustrates how tired the dog is. Here's the status you liked. If I don't come back in, it's because the AC I oh, that was amazing. put in the window fell on me. <laughs> you never did reply to it, right? No. Good. Don't reply. I'm not going to ever say anything. Yeah, that's, that's the right thing. Somebody said, I hope you got it in okay. Mm-hmm. It's good, man. Somebody else from work said, hopefully it didn't fall on you. But if it did, I'm sure the local hospitals are fully cooled and have yeah. backup generators. I thought that was good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's good. So I'll be well taken care of. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So this is the point in the show where I ask you, where can we find you on the internet? I'm under um, chrisrampersad.com. Good. You have your own domain name. I'm impressed. I do. I'm a human there. What do, what do you put on that? Nothing. But now I could put some links on there. And you know what? I think, I think I you need, need a blog. I think I need people to write me and tell me. What you are? Yeah, what am I? Well, why don't you just make like a... a crafter. Make a little box at work and put some slips of paper. Describe me in one word. Uh-huh. I'm you know, like the name? Facebook game, but do it like mm-hmm. in physically. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Little box in your queue. You need a few cube. more words. Yeah, you need a lot more words. I think you need a blog too. I, I could blog. I know you could blog, but you don't. No, that's a lot of work. No, it's really not. Except that it is. That's why I don't do it. That's why I made a podcast network. What would I blog about? But I don't know. Well, like I'm supposed to blog about news, but that's just way too much work. Tech news. Yeah. Okay. So we can find you on chrisrampersed.com, anywhere else, maybe Twitter. 
Twitter now. Well, Where? Yeah, as soon as Chris Ramper said. Well, it's Chris underscore Ramper said. Chris oh. Ramper said was taken, unfortunately. <gasps> Probably by me. No, don't think so. I think it's somebody else. You know, I've signed up to a lot of things. How do I know if it's me or not? Well, when you go there, you have no tweets and no picture. So it's probably not you. Who is it? It's okay, who knows? Didn't you get me that? No. You didn't buy me that? You didn't make that for me? Well, you don't have to pay for Twitter accounts. <laughs> oh, that's good. It's free, huh? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to start tweeting. Good. Okay. So you can find her on... The internet. Twitter okay. at... Yeah, Chris underscore rapper said. There you go. Yeah, and people better find me. Yeah, I hope so. Because otherwise I won't have anybody to tweet to. Yeah. You got you gotta gotta get out there and And then when you do it'll come to my phone. It will. Well, I don't think you can start tweeting professionally until you have a real phone. Well every once in a while I get it. No, you need to you need a real phone to start tweeting professionally. When I get it I have a little blue bird on my phone. I which, got a little blue bird. <laughs> it shows up right here. A little blue bird. <gasps> I like it, I look for it. See where, see where the lunch truck is. <laughs> is, that, is that also where the uh, Bambi <laughs> and the rainbows are? And the unicorns. <laughs> and the unicorns. Rainbows, sunshine, unicorns. I have that on Pinterest. Did you see that? No, I don't like Pinterest. I think it's a joke. Yeah, I'm going to show it to you. Okay, well, in the meantime, uh, of course, I'm Ryan Rampersad, and you can find me just about anywhere, especially on the Twitter, Ryan MR. And, of course, this is the... What is this? What is this? Oh, this is an extra special. Because we were just standing around okay, here. Okay, here's one of my boards. I have a few boards. They could find me on Pinterest, too. Oh, okay, what's what's your name on Pinterest? I don't know. Okay, well, I guess I can't then. Chris Ramper said. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> so right you... here, rainbows and unicorns. That's so sad. No, I collect nice pictures of rainbows and unicorns on Pinterest and have a board for that. So this is a Nexus special, and of course this is the Nexus TV, where we talk about tech, we, t- we talk about backup solutions, we talk about... Having a social profile that's actually relatively reasonable and reflects your actual self. I have one. And not some jokes to Paul girl. Okay, I've been upgraded. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you for your help. No, you just need last pass. You'll be good. Okay. And of course, the show is not on in any schedule. Uh, we might actually do a real podcast tomorrow as scheduled, but who knows? We'll see. The probability is between one and, oh, I don't know, two. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, high probability, huh? Mm-hmm. And and of course, uh, you can listen to more shows just like this uh, at the Nexus, uh, dot TV. We have a new website that you can enjoy and get all of the past episodes. It's lovely. It's lovely. Yeah. I agree. And of course, you can follow the Twitter account for the entire network, the Nexus TV on Twitter. They should look at the artwork. No, I didn't update the artwork yet. Actually, fonts. I screwed, no, no. Logos. No, no logo. Icons. No. Anything mm-hmm. new? No. It's the same? Yep. You're going to update it? No. It is updated. I just didn't use any of the new artwork. Like, I did new backgrounds and new, some new fonts, but not really. Oh. Okay, well, they should check it out anyway. Yeah. Because it's really good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that was a good show. Thanks for coming all the way down the steps. Sure, anytime. Yeah, right, sure. <laughs> hey, you want to go downstairs really quick? It's really nice. Oh, I'm too tired. I'm the backup, maybe, if I can't get anybody else guess. Sure. With that warm invitation. Sure. Well, it's been fun. Have a good one. You too.